Hi Libra, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, Yance's Universe. Welcome back and welcome new viewers and subscribers to Yance's Universe, your new favorite tarot reader. You guys, I'm going to do your general love reading for August 2021. It may include general messages, um, love messages, career and finance messages, or spirit messages, okay? It's general. It can resonate for you and or your person, friend, family, boss, co-worker, whoever, at any given moment. It may resonate for whoever's on your mind or it may resonate for whoever has you on their mind. This could have already happened, could be happening now or could happen in the near future. Y'all follow me on all my social media. Donate to grow our channel or donate to give me a love offering. My birthday just passed August 8th. Like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for showing me what's going on for Libra. For August 2021, please protect me as I go within the tarot and let the messages be clear and honest. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Libra, you can be dealing with an Aries. We got the emperor coming out. This is the father or mother of your children or a boss, a leader, someone who wants to take back control of the situation. But this is someone very stern, okay? And they hold everything in. You never know how this person is feeling. They, uh, they're sharp at the tongue, okay? What you don't know is, is that they find you very sexy. Or this person is sexy. This Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Capricorn. They want to travel towards you with the world card. I feel like this person sees you online or you saw them online. They want to communicate with you and travel towards you. Clarify the Emperor for Libra. The Cherry. Yeah, they want to travel towards you. They want to speak to you. They want to bring you something. Bring you a gift with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? This could be the mother of your child or the father of your child. I feel like, I don't know why I'm feeling like somebody is coming home after a delivery. So you just gave birth to a new child. Somebody's coming to your home so you guys can go out of town. You're just now coming back from in town. Clarify the Knight of Swords. The strength card. Okay, so a lot of holding back. Could be dealing with the Leo. Holding back how much you want to speak to this person. Holding back um, that you want to travel to this person and message this person. Because they're beautiful. They're sexy with the Queen of Wands. They're gorgeous. Very influential. You're starstruck by this. You're starstruck by this person. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. Eight of Wands. Okay, you, you can't hold back no more. You're going to burst. You're going to erupt. Eight of Wands is travel, more messages, and communication. The Chariot is travel and communication. The Knight of Swords is travel and communication. The Eight of Wands is travel and communication. Okay, no matter how much you may want to fight this or no matter how much they want to fight this, they can't. You're beautiful. It's like this person is possessed under your womanly charms possessed under your manly charms you're gorgeous inspirational this person needs to talk to you i feel like you i feel like this person is so desperate to talk to you because they feel that you have insight or advice or information that only you can give them that they have to get specifically from you okay three of cups i want to reunite with you they want to get the family back together they want to give you a gift they're obsessed but we have multiple people here a mistress Okay, so you're trying to dip away from the family and you're going... Well, okay, you don't have to have a family. You could be dealing with an Aries. You and an Aries are going out of town together to do that grown-up stuff. I'm getting somebody... I'm getting some weird-ass message about there's a husband or there's a boyfriend or there's this man who has a family and he drops the family off. And when he drops the family off, he goes out of town and he goes to see another another person. This don't have to be your story. This don't have to be your story. I see the three of cups and the three of wands. With the devil card, there's a secret. Someone's hiding, someone's hiding a child or someone's hiding another lover. Someone's hiding the fact that they want to come towards you. So I get that somebody is obsessively watching you and obsessively stalking you. Because they want to come towards you. They want to say something to you. What's this person's intentions? Why do they want to come? Why are they so obsessed? What's this person's intentions? 
the ace of wands they they want to speak to you they want to start up communication with you they want to sleep with you so i'm getting somebody did some type of you did some type of spell work on someone and now they're possessed and now you're like oh my gosh this crazy ass guy just popped up at my house but this is exactly what you wanted this is exactly what you asked for okay what the fuck Clarify the Ace of Wands. You put it down on this person. That's why they're obsessed. You fuck this person so good. They're obsessed. Yep. Yes. Yes. You. You, Libra. Got this person dumb. Stupid. And they stuck in their head. You know that song, Foolish by Ashanti? <laughs> Unfoolish by Ashanti. Give me another storyline. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Aries, Pisces, Aries, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Strong Capricorn. This sound like a Gemini reading. Gemini always get these weird ass fucking readings. What's going on for Gemini? What's going on for Gemini? Gemini for August 2021. Was there anything else you want to tell Gemini? Okay, we got adjacent possibilities coming out. Give me one more. You got a decision to make. You got a decision to make. This definitely sounds like a Gemini reading. Okay, you got to get balanced. Okay, we got the two here, two scales. There's an indecision. There's only an indecision because there's you're not balanced. If you are balanced, you'd be able to make a balanced decision. Okay, weigh up the pros and cons. We have a lot of possibilities, adjacent possibilities, especially when it comes to money and stability and value. Okay. All right, things are going in twos. Four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, what are you so indecisive about? Clarify indecision for Libra. Seven of Wands. You're indecisive on whether you should fight for this or just walk away. You, you're just indecisive on whether you should fight for this or fight against this. Who's this Knight of Cups? Someone who broke your heart. It's a Gemini or someone you have a strong connection with. You're trying to see whether you should accept this person's apology or not. This could be the father of your child, the mother of your child. The Ace of Wands came out again. We got the Lovers, Three of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Again, you're trying to decide. You have a decision on whether to block this person out or accept this person's apology to see if it, things are going to be different this time. Now, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. But I do see this person did break your heart with the Three of Swords. Whether if it was third party, they had another person, they cheated, they lied, or or just said some mean, hurtful things. Or maybe it was just a breakup. The Three of Swords could be anything. I see this person messaging you because they still have the passion. They still got the hot fire flame for you with the Ace of Wands. Okay. What do this person want? Because we got the Ace of Wands, though. Remember, we asked what they wanted, and it was the Ace of Wands. They just wanted to have sex, or they just wanted to talk to you. They want to get you pregnant. The Ace of Wands could be a pregnancy card as well. We got the Queen of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing if this person was married, they left their person for you. That's what's going on. If this person had somebody, or if they were married... You did some work on them, and they left their person for you. Yep, because we got the Six of Pentacles. This is giving to multiple people. What does this person want with Libra?
They want victory and success with you, and they want attention with the Six of Wands. They want victory, success, sex, attention. But I think this person might still be distant from you with the Three of Wands. You're trying to decide on if you should let this person in. What's the point of letting this person in again if they're just going to be distant? Okay? Clarify adjacent possibilities for Libra. Six of Cups, adjacent possibilities. This is either a new person or uh, that past person. There are so many possibilities. So you have multiple people to choose from. Libra, or they do. Clarify adjacent possibilities. You probably do want to have kids with them or already have kids with them. Four of Wands, yep. You're trying to choose between two different people, two different homes, two different jobs. A Sagittarius. A fire sign or a water sign. Clarify door to value. High priestess. Okay, all right. Trying to choose between the Pisces. Okay, Libra. Leo. Let me see. Okay, so door to value. I see you use your intuition to make your money. You could be a judge. You could be someone in the legal system. You could be a, an advisor, a teacher, a counselor, okay? You could be a philanthrop philanthropist. I see you could be a, a principal. Someone, uh, you could be a social worker. I see that you're the one who makes this, you make, you make decisions. Your job is for you to make decisions about stuff. I don't know what that is, but you make money because you make decisions on things. You could be a lawyer, a mayor, a judge. You could be a teacher. So maybe you're trying to decide on if you want to go back to school. You're trying to decide on whether you want to start teaching again. Or you're trying to you're just trying to decide on if you want to back to doing what you used to do this could be going back to stripping going back to whatever old job you used to do ain't no telling there's a lot of money here okay but you there are a lot of different possibilities and options and a lot of doors and this is why you can't make a decision angels can you help libra out please can you help them please what do you have to say about the situation for libra do you have to say about the situation for Libra? What do you have to say about this? What advice can you give Libra? What do you have to say about this situation, angels? Opportunity. We got adjacent possibilities and opportunity. How you're, you're going to be able to make this decision by getting more information. You got to study first. Study and get more information. The more information you have about each um, option or situation, is that's going to help you make this. Um, that's going to help you make the decision, and you'll be able to take an opportunity. There's a lot of opportunity coming towards you. All right. So whatever uh, comes towards you, you need to make sure that you get information about it. Okay. What's going on? For Libra, was there anything else you wanted to tell Libra? Any other information for Libra? Anything else that we may not have said to Libra, please? Is there anything else, please? Ancestors and Spirit Guides, Holy Spirit. Okay, Libra, there's some heartbreak that you gotta heal from. Okay, you gotta let let it be over. Let it be over, Libra. Clarify the three of swords. Okay, clarify the three of swords. I feel like you need to start listening to yourself. The strength card keeps coming back, coming up, coming out over and over again. You're dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Your person has Leo in their chart. I'm seeing that you could be fearful. The reason why you can't make a decision is because you're fearful. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. Get more information so you don't let that fear um, hinder you. All right? Have the courage and the strength. Right? The Eight of Swords is being stuck in your head. Too fearful to see a decision and too fearful to make a decision. All right? Be logical. 
have the strength and courage to do it with this heartbreak um don't let any pain stop you either i feel like libra get some rest get more information the page of swords gets more information before you make a decision there's opportunity your ships are coming in all right so maybe you need to get some rest and heal this broken heart before these things come in you feel them on the horizon but spirit is holding them because they feel like spirit says if i give this to you now will you even know what to do with it you're too fearful will you be able to make a decision on it will you be able to act on it okay I don't know why I'm hearing some of you are polygamous. I don't know. Okay, so time to heal this broken heart, Libra. Or maybe this is Cross Watcher. I feel, Libra, you are trying to decide on whether you should come towards someone with an apology. And this is why you can't make a decision. Someone needs to come forward with an... I'm not saying you need to. But I'm seeing if it was really that bad with the Three of Swords coming out twice. Then maybe the, an apology is owed to someone. Clarify the death card. Ace of Wands keeps coming out. Somebody does want to start this. This could be a new person. I feel like there's a new person that keeps trying to come into your life and you keep uh, pushing them away. The Ace of Wands came out three times. It's a new Scorpio, a new fire sign. All right? Someone's, someone is coming towards you or you're emotionally distant. You don't know what to do. You're confused. Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. Clarify the Death card in the Ace of Wands. Page of Wands, it's a new fire sign, or this is a um, a new child. This is a messenger, someone traveling towards you. Clarify the King of Wands. All right. You do want to come towards someone and communicate with someone, but you're stopping yourself. You're trying to look at something from a different uh, perspective, or there's a blockage to where you can't get communicate with this person. There's a blockage to where you can't communicate with this person. They may have you blocked. Yeah, I think somebody, if somebody was in a third-party situation, they chose the other person. Um, but they feel bad about it, and they want to apologize. Yeah, there's an apology coming. Somebody wants to give you an apology. Clarify justice. They want to make this right. They want to make this balance. Okay? They want to make this fair. Clarify justice. I think justice came out twice too. Okay, you gotta be balanced, Libra. You got to be balanced. You either gonna you gonna think about it or you gonna do something about it. Okay. All right, let's talk more action. What's going on, Libra? All right, you in one foot in, one foot out. Where are we going? We starting this up again or we ending it and moving forward? Cause Libra, Libra don't know what the fuck to do at all. This is what's going on for you, August. You're trying to make a decision on where to go. You're trying to move forward. I know you do want to give this apology, though. Or your person does. They're driving themselves crazy on giving you this apology. Give me a card to close Libra's reading. Strength card kept coming out. Somebody don't have the strength to uh, face someone. Show me what's going on for Libra to close this reading. Unicorn. All right. Somebody, even if somebody isn't committed to someone, they're like, I don't want anybody but you kissing on my tattoos. I know that we're not committed. I know that I may have someone else on the side. Or this is their number one person and you're the one on the side. But they're just like, I don't want anybody but you. Okay? Don't fall for that shit. I'm just of that bullshit. <laughs> All right, unicorn. It says invite serendipity. But what they but what he's saying is I don't want nobody but you kissing on my tattoos and he's saying men like stop playing. Stop playing with these good women. Stop playing with them because if somebody comes up and snatches her, you're going to be you're going to be looking dumb and stupid and assed out and heartbroken. You're going to lose a good woman. Because of what? Okay? So, unicorn, invite serendipity. Mysterious, playful, and pure. The unicorn is universally beautiful, mysterious, and difficult to capture and tame. 
It is fierce and protective, yet admirable. The unicorn is the symbol of serendipity, the occurrence of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. This card represents good luck in making unexpected and favorable discoveries. Expect magic to happen. Luck is on your side. The mantra is, I accept and invite serendipity into my life. I accept and invite serendipity into my life. All right? We saw all those um, opportunities and adjacent doors, Libra. It's time for you to go ahead and have the courage to do it. I love you guys. Donate to the channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Follow me on all my social media. Book a personal reading with me. And y'all be safe. Bye-bye.